Hello, if you've been lucky enough to stumble across this plumberparts.co.uk video, you're gonna find out some great information about the new My Genie internet heating control, and they are absolutely brilliant. If you're interested in buying one, then click on the link that's appearing right now. That'll take you to Plum Arena. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. There'll also be a link at the end if you wanna buy one as well. And remember everyone, to hold tight. Plumberparts.co.uk, honest reviews and advice. Hold tight and welcome to today's Plumber Parts of Code UK video. Now today we're going to have a very very quick look at how we can actually update our system controls to the new modern kind of internet way of running a heating system. As we speak heating controls are being updated across the whole of the country so you can control them from your smartphone or from anywhere when you're away on holiday or when you're away at work you can control and see what the heating settings are. Now the greatest advantage of doing this is that you can get much more closely controlled heating systems and save quite a lot of money. If you've got an old stat like the one we're going to take out at the moment you're going to get a much closer control range and also you're going to be able to see exactly what the heating system's doing at any particular time from wherever you are in the world as long as you've got an internet connection to your phone so what we're updating with today is the drain in my genie the my genie packs really really simple uh, it comes along with a little plug-in piece for your router uh, you've got the new controller box here that we'll replace on this here and we've got a nice wireless thermostat here as well that communicates with your programmer and back to your smartphone too so i hope you enjoyed today's video and remember everyone to hold tight so first things first the things you're really going to need to do this job it's so easy is a small slotted screwdriver and also a phillips head standard cross-headed screwdriver first thing you're going to want to do is isolate the heating system now i know that this heating system here isolates on this switch so bang, we're going to turn everything off there. As you can see, the screen's gone on that. But also, just to be sure, I'm going to pull this fuse out as well. We don't want anyone turning this switch back on while I'm somewhere and electrocuting us or causing a problem. Now that we've got that out, we know that we can remove this timer and programmer here. There's just two slotted screws underneath and pretty much every timer in the country has a universal backplate, regardless of manufacturer. So you should just be able to whip these two off here and pop that off just like so, nice and easy. Now the next thing I'd always say you wanna do is just grab yourself an electrical tester and make sure that everything's dead. There's no point in taking any risks whatsoever with electrics. And with that being said, if you're not happy with doing any electrics or you don't know what you're doing, then definitely get a qualified electrician or competent person to come in and do it for you. So now that we've got our old timer off the wall and our power switched off, we don't have to worry about doing anything with the back plate or altering these wires here or anything like that. We can just swap it straight over. What we need to do is isolate and take out and link out the old thermostat. So what a lot of guys are going to do is going to be quite naughty is they're going to take this stat off the wall, find the switch pair, pop a connector block on it so they're constantly made and then pop it back in the wall. I don't think you should do that whatsoever. Go up to your airing cupboard or where your wiring centre is and identify the two wires that go down to the thermostat. Once you've identified what you think are the two wires that go back down and back up from the thermostat in the room, make sure before you carry on that you test the wires on the thermostat as well to make sure they're dead and also to make sure that the wires back up in the wiring center are dead as well. Just test every terminal, don't take any risks. Once you think you've got the two wires that go down and back up to the thermostat, pop them out Set your electrical tester to ohms resistance, much like when you're testing the continuity to see if a fuse is still okay. Pop your electrical tester on each one of those wires and then just ask your mate downstairs to switch on and off the stat. You should hear a beep, 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 beep come off and off or some sort of indication that that's the right one because there'll be resistance and then no resistance. Once you've figured out which one that is, just get yourself a little loop and loop the two out, okay? You don't need that anymore. Then you don't have that horrible worry about having a connector block in the wall. Just loop them out properly in the wiring center. That means now you can take your old stat off the wall, unscrew it and throw it away. You're never going to need it again. So back up here, you'll notice that the new My Genie has the same sort of new backplate on for new installations. We're not going to need that on this job at all. This is exactly the same. We're just going to pop it on here like so. And that fits perfectly on there. Screw the two screws up underneath and that's it. That's the new programmer installed. I mean, it couldn't get any easier. Now, it's always a good idea at this point as well to make sure that your wiring instructions are exactly the same as they were before. If you've got a brand new system going in, make sure you use the wire instructions supplied with the My Genie stat and programmer. Um, we've got a standard S-Plan system here, so it's a really, really simple one, but make sure you know what sort of system you've got and refer to the electrical wiring instructions as well to make sure you've done it right. Now we've got a nice little remote stat here and we've got some AA batteries as well supplied with it. Remove the little covering off the AA batteries, obviously, and pop them into your stat. You just pop these little covers off like this out the way. Have a little gander at the inside bit as well. Make sure you get the polarities the right way around. 
Right, so you see there, we've got some sort of signal. Now I'm just gonna pop the fuse back in here. So that we've just got this here sitting here saying starting. Just gonna pop this on like so. So we've just got that switched on now, as you can see, it's initializing. As you can see at the moment, it's saying heating, no signal. All you need to do is press the center button on the My Genie stat and you'll see straight away that the heating no signal thing has completely disappeared. So once you press the center button and they're talking together, all these products when they come out of the factory are already pre-bound. Now you need to think about where you actually want to position your new My Genie stat. Now we've got the old stat here, that's completely unlinked now, not working. And I prefer to have a bit more versatility about where you put the stat, not just on the wall or something like that. I usually like to have it on a stand, pop it on the dresser on the side, and then your user or your customer can move it around the house as they like. With every My Genie pack, you're going to get a little stand as well or the option for a back plate for a wall mounting really really simple to use so once you've decided where you're going to put it i'm just going to pop this one down here like so we can move on to the next really really simple stage now all you need to do is find out where your customer's wireless router is or where their normal internet router is so we've got a nice my genie gateway here and if you notice on the back you've got a plug for the ethernet and a small plug for the power so all we need to do now is set up our my genie gateway in this really really simple way so we've got our wireless router or our internet router down here with an ethernet port just there like that and we've got our little my genie as well that i'm just going to pop on here like so so all i need to do is just get our plug just like so plug that in and pop that into the back of the my genie and you'll see we've got a small light there and then all we need to do is get our ethernet cable that's supplied plug this in here and you'll see that these two start communicating now i'm just going to pop over to the app store i usually just type in drayton on the customer's phone or on their ipad and then we see we've got the my genie here just get that and install that. And as you can see there, we've just got the download timer coming up. If you've got a nice quick internet connection, it shouldn't take too much time at all. So now we open up the My Genie account. So now all we need to do is create an account, nice and easy, this is so easy. Now just ask your customer to fill out their first and second name, an email address and a password. Now just ask them to pop in their house name or number and address. Now that we're setting up, we just press the button on the gateway just here. So now you should see the LED will start flashing green as soon as the button is pressed. So as soon as these two are talking together and you've got this lovely little success screen here, you'll get an email sent to your email account for verification. So I'm just going to pop over there now and see where it is. Hi James, you're nearly ready for the magic to begin. Simply click the link below to confirm your email address. Bang, so we're going to confirm that now. As soon as you've confirmed your email address, just pop over back to the My Genie app. And bang, we're ready to use the controller. So you've got all the instructions here on how the control works. So there you go, they're now talking to each other nice and happily. We've got our system knowing like the temperature and everything that's going on in here. And I'm really, really pleased the house has gone and it's so, so easy. And as you can see, it's really, really good as well. It kind of updates the system and it is the way of the future. In our next video, I'm gonna briefly show you through how the actual app works itself. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please do subscribe, follow us on Twitter and on Facebook. If you've got any comments or questions or you think we've missed something out or could have done something better, then please leave them in the comments section below. Anyway, until the next video, which is all about how this little app works. It's not gonna be very long because it's so easy to understand. Everybody, please hold tight and I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Plumberparts.co.uk, honest reviews and advice.